On the news tonight is Jennifer Omotayo Thomas, Vice President, Widows and Orphan Support Society of Africa. Glad to have you on the news tonight. It's a pleasure. Now, uh, marking International Widows Day 2022, what can you say is the situation of widows in Nigeria? And the theme of this year, Sustainable Solutions for Widows' Financial Independence. How can this be achieved? Um, that's why we celebrate this um, Widows Day every 23rd of June. It's a United Nations program. And um, looking at um, more widows joining the previous one, we cannot say that the problem has actually been eradicated because okay. um, there are some widows that can take care of themselves. And we have a lot of widows that can't even take care of themselves. Because even before their husband died, they were doing petty things. Now remember that um, a responsibility that two people were managing to carry, and all of a sudden, it's just one person. And maybe the woman is having eight children, five children, even to cater for one in her present economy situation. It's not easy. How much more when you have more than one and you need to clothe, you need to feed, you need to send them to school. Some of these men died without even leaving a house. Oh. And even when some have left the houses, the family of the man comes and comes to get everything. And the women are just out there without support. And that is why NGOs like us are calling for good Nigerians to partner with all these NGOs and churches and other religious bodies to help these widows because it's not really easy for them. Even though I'm not a widow, but I'm a woman and I see these things. There's hardly a day we don't find one widow, two widows in our main office. All right, so according to the theme for 2022, it says sustainable solutions for yes. financial independence for widows. What are the sustainable solutions? Uh, basically, giving money to a woman is not enough. Okay. They need to acquire skills, how to manage funds that are being given to them, think of good business ideas that they can do with the support they get. Remember, if you give someone fish today, you don't expect to be given another day. But if you know how to catch the fish yourself, you are better off. Yeah. So what we do as a foundation, okay. we equip these women. Like last year, we helped them to go through skills like bead making, soap making, um, catering, things that could help to bring, put food on their table. And that is the only way they can sustain. Now, in what ways can we ensure the protection of widows in Nigeria? To I think that's why the day was set aside. Yes. Another way we can protect them is to be consigned. Um, because we see a lot of um, gathering for the widows. But I'm here to see the government putting some laws because culturally, they are at a great disadvantage. Okay. Like I keep telling people, I said, if the government passes a law that states when the man dies, no woman prays for her husband to die because we all know the problem that will follow. These women should not be left without anything. They should be given all what the husband left behind because it belongs to them. The man must have left children and wife. And even if they don't have children, because that woman was once married to that man, she owns those things and they should not be taken away from them. And if anyone is sanctioned or a family is dealt with, others will stop. And these women will be catered for. Now, like you have said earlier, culturally, there are yes, a disadvantage. A very great now, disadvantage. can this narrative be changed in a country like Nigeria? That's why I said it's only the law. Okay. Because why is it that when a woman dies, the husbands are not made to drink the water that they use in beating the woman? Oh. 
Why is it that it's only when the man dies, the woman is addressed as a witch? The man is a human being. The woman is a human being. That's why we are calling for gender equality. So they shouldn't be treated as a second class citizen. All right, finally, before we round up uh, this um, segment, what's your advice to widows in Nigeria? My especially advice for this to widows, even before your husband is gone, get something doing. And even when the man is gone, ensure that you have things you have kept for yourself. And like what I used to advise widows attached to our foundation, don't wait for anybody. As we help you to start up, don't waste that money. Like um, during the Easter period, we give them money to add to their business. We have come back to school for their, we come back to school for their children every September. We give clothes, we give food items. But if you have a business as a widow, groom your business and think of more business ideas that will boom your business, make you an independent woman, and you'll be able to take care of your children without any man molesting you. All right. Thank you so much for your contributions on the news tonight. Um, Jennifer so Omotayo Thomas, she is the Vice President, Widows and Orphan Support Society of Nigeria. Thank you so much for your contributions. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.